What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to Black Entertainment. Thanks once again, you guys, for all tuning in. Like always, I appreciate it very, very greatly. But I'm bringing a little bit more of Black Ops 2 gameplay. It seems like these gameplays are a little bit scarce on this channel, considering I'm known for Black Ops 2 gameplays. Uh, but ever since Grand Theft Auto 5 came out, I haven't really had any motivation to play Black Ops 2. I'm really, really excited for Call of Duty Ghosts, and I just wanted to be here already because I just don't want to play Black Ops 2 anymore. It's just not fun for me anymore. It's very, very rare when I get into a decent game, like, without Target Finder LMGs or those people camping behind corners. And it just makes me very, very frustrated, and I just don't want to deal with the bullshit right now. I just want that new Call of Duty game to come out already. So, in these videos, or in some Black Ops 2 videos, I've been reading some comments, and a lot of you guys are like, Hey Black, why don't you just tell us some stories about yourself? Why don't you tell us about some of your past experiences? And I've done this before, and they got some positive ratings, but for some reason, I haven't really done one recently. So I'm decided I'm going to be like, alright, you know what, I'll talk to you guys. Uh, we'll have some Black Ops 2 gameplay in the background, and we're going to take it back and become like best friends in the world because we're going to learn shit about each other. Uh, so for this episode or this little video, I guess you should say, shouldn't really call it an episode because it's not really a part of a series, uh, but I want to talk about my cheating experiences back in high school. And I'm talking about back in high school because I graduated high school in 2009. Now I feel like an old grandpa because 2013, that was four years ago, I graduated high school. Man, I'm fucking old, man. What am I doing with my life? But anyways, back in high school, man, I was the master cheater back there. Like, you know how you watch Master Chef and stuff? And like, Chef Ramsay is the shit? That was me. I was Chef Ramsay in the cheating form in high school while cheating on tests, if that makes any sense at all. But back in the day, back when high school went, I would cheat every now and then. Like, I would do the classic, you shove something up the sleeve of your jacket, and when the teacher's not looking, you'll pull out the sheet of paper a little bit and look at your cheats. I did that. I wrote on my hand before. Um, I even did it where you would put something under your shirt and, like, tape it to the top of your pants. And, like, you'd put it up. You'd put it up for if you look down, you could see the cheats. I've done stuff like that so the teacher wasn't looking and I would lift up my shirt and then I would see everything I've written down right there. So I had some pretty good cheats, uh, but one of the ones that I just absolutely love the most, probably my most famous moments in high school is where I found out the ultimate way to cheat in my Spanish class because I hated taking Spanish. Um, I live down in California, so I don't know a drop damn lang or a, a damn word of Spanish. I don't know, drop dead language? I don't even know if that would have made sense. Uh, but I didn't know a damn word of Spanish, and this class was really, really hard for me. I wouldn't study for it. I never really studied through high school, and I still graduated with, uh, I still graduated with honors, so that makes sense. That kind of tells you how easy high school was, or maybe it's just easy down here. Uh, but the ultimate cheat I did was in Spanish we had a vocab test and this vocabulary test like we had a study guide it had like 75 vocab words and the test was gonna be like 50 of these words and you got to translate them from Spanish like it'd be written in Spanish and you would have to say what it means in English and so what I did is I went home that night and did 75 of these words went on the internet went on my computer figured out what they meant translated them and then recorded myself onto a microphone I would sit at my computer and I would be like Trabajar, work, mochila, or mochilla, backpack. And I would do this for 75 words, and I recorded them onto my computer, and then from there, I took the file from my computer and downloaded it to my iPod. And back in the day in high school, I had a little bit longer hair, so during the test, I had 75 vocab words on my iPod, and I'd put the earbud in my ear from my iPod, and I would be listing off 75 Spanish words, and I would just flip through the pages on my test and write down the meaning from Spanish to English. And I got a damn good grade in that because I was the master cheater, and I didn't even get caught for that. I think I got like a 98% because you have to miss a couple because you can't make it super obvious. And that was my ultimate cheat in high school. I was really stoked about that. I was only actually only caught once in high school for cheating. And if you want to hear that story, let me know. I could definitely do another video about that. If you want to hear more personal stories about my Myself, definitely be sure to comment down below and comment down below have you cheated in high school before and if so what was your master plan in cheating because that was mine thanks you guys for tuning in i appreciate it and like always i'll talk to you in my next video peace you guys